some memories can't be wiped. When Bassam Wahbe, a shopkeeper, was kidnapped, his captors demanded a $1.5 million ransom. They filmed him begging his family to help. When the kidnappers didn't get what they wanted, they chopped off one of his fingers. They sent the video and the finger to his family. He was ransomed after they borrowed $80,000. Bassam says he was kidnapped by Sunni Muslim gunmen loyal to the opposition Free Syria Army for money and because he's a Shia who mostly support the president. The sectarian factor was clear. They directed sectarian insults to me on my sect. There was a lot of blame. They considered me an infidel. The streets of Damascus used to be safe. Now they empty after dark. People hurry home knowing kidnappers include gunmen loyal to both sides. It can be political, often it's about money. On the checkpoints are so-called popular committees, vigilantes. These men seem part of the community. Elsewhere, there have been complaints they abuse their new power. The president has ordered the death penalty for kidnappers, but he's being forced to contract out security. That didn't happen when this was a tight police state. Kidnapping is another way in which the war is doing serious damage to the social fabric of Syria. That matters whoever wins, because longer term, it's going to make it much harder to put this country back together again. The disintegration of Syria is making new men like Rafiq Lotfe influential, even powerful. Rafiq negotiates with kidnappers. He helped release the man whose finger was cut off. He has police bodyguards, a sign of how close he is to the regime. He introduced me to leaders of the vigilantes in the old city of Damascus, and he claimed the rebels were losing. So these are local men mm -hmm. being, who've got guns? All of them, they live here in this area. And they've been given these guns by the government to defend themselves? They ask. And they're necessary? Definitely. A 13-year-old boy called Omar stopped Rafiq, asking him to help get his kidnapped father released 41 days after he was taken. He sent them a letter to say, I'm fine. This is the only word he said, I'm fine. But you don't know who sent the letter. That's all they've had in 41 days. Exactly. The reality is that kidnapping threatens Syrians on every side of the war that spawned it, as well as all those people, probably a majority, who just find themselves trapped in a nightmare. Dear job. He said, I want my father back. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Damascus.